now live. Because we're doing it live! Oh, damn it! This is a dick. This is where I tell you to suck it. Aha! <laughs> uh-huh, and there's that PG-13 rating we always go for. We earned it this time. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Oh, boy. Week 8 of our Rise of the Loon Lords. Loon Lords? Yes, I, know, I cannot speak. I, I Mark... He's he's already gotten into the into the alcohol. That's that's not good. We yeah. have alcohol. Where's the alcohol? It, it Dude. is. Dude. It is called um. It is Mountain Dew flavored alcohol, actually. No. Are, are you okay driving me home drunk? Uh, as in driving her who is drunk, not you driving. If you're driving drunk, I will kick you in the teeth. I, I I'm, I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna touch my fine. You always mess up the cop. You take your seatbelt off, you hurry to the passenger seat, wait till he comes up to the window. <laughs> he was here a second ago. <laughs> he saw you and he just went running. <laughs> that was a I'm not a drunk, Ossifer. <laughs> that was a game of Alasius. <laughs> the driver wasn't. Now he's gone. Uh, off the third. Before I step out, you, you got you got a cab. <laughs> yeah, th- this is my fifth one and I really want it. <laughs> Anyway, kids, don't drink and drive. <laughs> yeah, it's very bad. Don't don't do it. So now, now that our PSA section is out of the way, or does anybody have any others they wish to blurt out? <laughs> uh, never pet a burning dog. <laughs> never spit it. Never spit into the wind. Um, be sure to buy Dishonored Game of the Year edition. It's great. Um, Practice safe sex. You always wear a condom. Yes. Alrighty then. Uh, never leave your drink alone at a party. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> Stan- so, Stanton, tell us what happened last time on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Goku and Vegeta stared at each other for a long time. Did and they kiss? Did they finally kiss? <laughs> Only um, in the Abridged series. No. <laughs> person can dream, can't they? (laughs) (laughs) Vegeta was too busy being married to a human woman that he still claims to hate the guts of. Are you sure they're married? Yeah. They say it in the show that they actually got married. No, in... When? In the... Like, when they do the... Like, when they do the tiny little time skip that suddenly introduces kids, tr- Kid Trunks, somebody was like, I can't believe Vegeta married Boma or something like that. Um. Do they ever explain in Dragon Ball Z why there's animal people on Earth? Not no. a chance. <laughs> okay. I don't think so. I mean, it's not really like you need I mean, to explain it. You have a bunch of what, other crazy when, shit going on. When is a lot of when is a lot of things ever explained in an anime? You just end up taking just it as it is. That. You just accept it. Mm-hmm. When, when it, anime and manga are those are the one forms of creation that could never fly in America because we always our general public always needs an explanation for something. Yet pick up any random manga and start reading. It's like. I am a okay with the fact that there is a bipedal dog walking around talking like he's a normal person. But there are cartoons, TV shows. Ice cream? Ice cream? We, we, we got ice cream for my sister because we were out and we were like, "Hey, well, let's 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 get some stuff for the party." And Rose was like, "I want ice cream." And I'm saying all this, and it's being recorded. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> yeah. So what happened last time? Sorry. <laughs> all right. What did happen last time? That's a very good question. We interrogated Pseudo. Mm-hmm. We, we all went to the police department, and we were like, Yo, Pseudo, why don't you explain some shit to us? And he was all like, No, I'm a giant prick. <laughs> so then... A friendly cleric walked in, and you're like, yo, this guy in the holding cell is being a total prick. And she's like, well, I've got a magic spell that'll make him not be such a prick. So then she cast the non-prick spell on him. And And his prick uh, went went went, away. Yeah, and his prickiness went away. (laughs) And uh, then he started to explain a bunch of 
enemy plans to us, and How you guys is, doing? Is, is we're recording right now. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, this is Will's mother, by the way. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, you're all right. So, after his prickiness went away, he started explaining all of the enemy plans, such as all the different allies they had, the different enemies they were making, uh, different things about traps, that uh, about going to Thistletop. Is it Thistletop or Thristletop? I would think it's Thristle because it's the, po- the part of the wood. Resting top. Grow up. Grow up. I I would think it's top. (laughs) Because the part of the area that the actual compound sits away from is an entire wooded area of bristle trees and briars that you have to dig through. Okay. So a bunch of... So think that you're going to end up going through the equivalent of when Maleficent created that wall of thorns in front of the castle. Oh, I cool. Didn't see that. The original Sleeping Beauty? Come on. If I saw it, I was like five, and I was Just too Just imagine this like, giant wall of I, I can, I can, vines I can, and I can, thorns. I can, I can imagine a giant wall of vines and thorns, because I've seen another stuff. But he was describing it specifically for a movie I hadn't seen yet. I'm letting him know what my points of reference are. All right, so not that many. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, uh, one more. Still more than me. One more thing I ended up forgetting to mention, but it's only on the second level of the dungeon where Nala supposedly is. So there is one single trap, like actual trap, within Bristletop on the second floor, to- in the hallway that leads between the stairwell that he drew and the room where Nala supposedly spends most of her time. It's a five foot pressure plate that if you step on it, walls come down barring you in and the two statues on either side begin chopping you up and then you're dumped into the ocean below. Yeah. Very nice. About a 20 foot drop into a pit. Well, it wouldn't matter because we'd be all chopped up. Well, there's a chance you can survive the chopping, <laughs> but you still take damage from the 20-foot fall. <laughs> you might survive being chopped to death. Because <laughs> they still have to hit your AC, and there's still the weapon damage roll and whatnot, and yeah. What <laughs> Good <if> God. <laughs> you could kill a statue before they kill you. Well, he said that the one easy way, well, he said that the way they sur- that they get past the trap is if Nala happens to be in the room that she usually spends her time, they'll call out to her, and she'll pull a lever that disables the trap. So, so, so what you're saying is that we have to put on the Stormtrooper armor. Well, you are hoping to get the one mercenary to be on your side. True. We have, we have to tap on our helmets and have them come down to fix our broken communicators. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. All right. Right, right. <laughs> so yeah we made a bunch of plans to deal with uh, the bad guys with the bugbear we were going to get the nettlewood elves along with Shay the ranger yeah the nettlewood elves are watching the road to make sure they don't strike first All right. uh, the merc we were really just hoping to pay off so we'll, we'll have like a letter of credit from the town of Sandpoint yeah. for him. Kendra ends up giving you the credit and shows you the two bits of platinum and says, "If the, I seriously hope that you can get him on our side. This took a lot to scrounge up, and I would hate to have it just sitting here for nothing. Well, hopefully it won't be for nothing, so... And if it is, we'll just get to keep the money. <laughs> Win-win. I guess. Uh, I could take it! No. With the uh, Goblin Druid, we were going to contact him on our way to Thristletop and be like, Hey, yo, we're, we're a bunch of awesome humans who really don't want to get chopped up. 
uh, how about you help us convince your people to not be dicks? He uh, pointed out where his den usually is, too. Gotcha. Laya, the human, uh, we were going to try and convince her, hey, um, d- don't fight for these people. You, you, you're a lot better than that. And these, these people are just a bunch of, a bunch of assholes who are, who are just using you. If you thought the Pathfinder Society is bad, these guys are worse. Exactly. And the Mosswood Goblins... Uh, we did some Mulan work, and, and you and, and Linka sat back and laughed the whole time. And we found a way to convince them to watch the roads and hopefully intercept the Thristletop goblins uh, in case they decide to move. I mean, they're the ones that are watching the road. Right. So, um, also, one other thing that I wanted to bring up real quick. Just to let the audience know, I'm all, we're also running a we're also running a take ten on perception checks at all times to speed things along just a tad. And also, we need to talk about the fact that the three of you are actually working people within the community. Woo! So um, that comes with. And that comes with an income. We'll say that it's been roughly two weeks since the start of the game. The game started in the month of Rova, which is the equivalent of September. You guys are in the second week of Lamashan, the equivalent of October. So you get two weeks worth of payment. Money! Lenka... You're the one who holds an actual salary-based job. You're also a <coughs> private within the city guard. The sergeant has to play with his privates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that look! Ooh, you go get hurt! <laughs> wow. Just... I'm bringing the class. I'm bringing class to this show. <laughs> you call that class? Yes. <laughs> the, the joke being that no, it's actually very crude, simplistic humor. <laughs> sexual harassment. Anyway. Sorry. You're holding your clipboard upside down. Anyway, Linka. Yes. You. You pretty much earn 10 gold a week, so you've earned 20 gold in two weeks. It's like working at Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> well, gee, you're a private in a city guard. What more do you want? You get free room and board. Yeah, no, yeah that's the no thing. No taxes, because you already work for the government. Yeah, that's the thing. You live within the barracks. All the food and whatnot's supplied to you, so the money is entirely yours to keep for anything else. Uh, Stan- Stanton and Lucy, you get to live within your churches as well, so you also have your own room and board. However, you two are paid by the donations towards your church. But I'm pretty. <laughs> I'm really pretty. Says you. Uh, says my plus four in charisma. What is my charisma? Oh, I have a charisma that just makes you happy, I think. What the box? <laughs> Roll in the box! What's in the box? <laughs> so. Oh, God. <laughs> so, Stanton. You get fifteen. Go- you get fifteen gold the first week. Sixteen. <laughs> so Stanton, you get fifteen gold for one week and sixteen gold for the second week. So that's like thirty-one gold yeah. altogether. Yeah. Lucy, you got thirty-six within two weeks. I have to leave for just a second. I will be right back. Okay. Oh, God damn it, everything's falling. Yes. Is it 36? Do you want a clipboard? There's like three over there. There is like three over there. I don't know how to use clipboards. I've... What? 
more? Yeah. I, like, I know how to use them, I just don't know, like, how to set them okay. in the right place. I have books. I have books of stuff. <laughs> books of steel. Yeah! Books. With all the books. I also want to get this, because this is just really cute. <laughs> oh, that is cute! Kawaii Band-Aid. Kawaii. So, so I'm going to roll my, my dice out of that, and hopefully it'll give me luck, because it's cute. It is cute. So, Shay meets you all. Oh, so you're going to be really loud and annoying? How's that different than normal? <laughs> you're not really that loud. Beer, be water. Oh. <laughs> 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 Don't fall, Chapin. <laughs> try and meet with a druid who has been outcast from them. If we can get his help, hopefully some of the goblins will be less inclined to fight. I have no illusion that we're going to convince the entire tribe to give up arms. Oh, you're not. I can guarantee it. And it, I can't even guarantee you'll get one goblin on your side, even if he's angry at his chief. But I guess it is worth a shot. After all, if he's a druid, he has to have some form of manners. So, Shay ends up help. Shay ends up showing you all the quickest <coughs> way to the Thistletop area. No survival rolls are needed, as she also helps you find a way through all the bristles and whatnot Press. to get to where you are on the map now. Assuming we also have Lambert's bread. Yes, you have Lambert's bread. Yes. Look, more Lambert's bread. <laughs> you need to eat but a single bite, and you will be fed for an entire day. Fuck that, I've eaten the whole thing now. <laughs> yeah. And Mary and Pippin are just sitting there, how much did you eat? Twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't imagine that was a good idea. <laughs> so, you got. She leads you to where you now see yourselves on the map. <clears throat> if you got it, expand it out a bit, and I'll, sh I'll pinpoint where Pseudo had the den. What? God! <laughs> Are you 
are, are you girls having fun? Are, are, are we entertaining you? Yes. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> the briars and bristles that grow so rampantly in the nettlewood are even more dense and tangled here close to the shoreline. Hold on. We have, we have to give Chip in a moment. She's about to die. Sorry. I'll be fine. She started. Uh, what did I do? <laughs> I have lost all control. <laughs> like you ever had any. <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> Give us a moment while we suffer some technical difficulties. <laughs> Start the recording. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, I'm going on tape, but not on the recording. Fuck the recording. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Alright. Oh, I'm okay. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Woo. Can what? the GM set the mood now? <laughs> Stop <laughs> talking! <laughs> Apparently, I am. Anyway, although not quite dense enough to block the sound of waves crashing on the unseen shore to the west, the undergrowth is certainly thick enough to block sight and access to the coast. Few trees glow, grow this close to the edge of the sea, but the briars themselves often reach heights to rival them here. The patch is nearly 20 feet high. Oh, wow. And if you examine it, and just to keep the question from being brought up, because it was before by my last group, when you examine it further, this area is very damp and moss-covered. So any attempts to light the bristles on fire will only create a nice little smoke signal that says, We're over here! <laughs> I do declare. <laughs> <laughs> perceptions and whatnot, all three of you, including Shay, do see that there is a hatch of thristles that you can lift up almost like a door and crawl in. And once you're inside, you end up finding out that you're in a set of tunnels that are only four feet high. So everyone, except for the druid and her companion, since he's a small-sized creature, are now taking penalties. Why am I not taking penalties? Because you have a uh, wild step or something like that. Gotcha. You, yeah. <coughs> so you as a druid not only I'm do awesome. not you not only do not suffer these penalties, but you are also practically capable of walking through the thristle walls as if How they're tall not is there. a medium character? Like anything from five feet and above. Oh okay. Boot. So the penalties that you're currently taking while in the tunnels and don't, there are going to be chambers in here that are higher and take away the penalties. But for right now, you're all taking a negative four on attack rolls and a negative four <coughs> to your armor classes. Okay. The druid can practically walk through the thristle walls as if they're not there. What's Wait, taking ne you guys negative so four on what? Negative four on attack rolls and your armor. While you're in the tunnels, though. What, how, how are you guys getting snagged? I mean, what's what's going on? Shay, someone here would have let me go through the thristles naked. That that's probably a bad idea. That it, would hurt. My clothes would be less inclined to get caught on everything. <laughs> you see that there. Are, <laughs> Sorry. You see on the ground below you that there are goblin tracks going every which direction. So for right now, you're just blindly in a tunnel of thristles. With... 
we, we are still in the same location, or... You guys would actually be in here right now. Oh, okay, sure. That, that's bypass the, the whole... Well, it's, a, it's supposed to be labeled a secret entrance. That's why I said when your perception checks, you notice that you can open up a patch of bristles as if they're a door. But you see that there are goblin tracks going every which direction. Hey, there are tra goblin tracks. Going in every which direction? Yeah. <laughs> and Shay comes... You said the whole line. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said half of it, and then I could have been in every which direction. But no, you, you said the whole thing. Well, she already said there are goblin tracks. I said in every which direction. No, uh that's not how it went. I'm I, I believe now. the exact line was there are goblin tracks in every which direction. Yeah. And you said there are goblin tracks. I said in every which direction. Well, what am I supposed to say? Exclamation point? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> Exclamation point. <laughs> Shay just comes up behind you all and says, You are all weird. You're just now figuring this out. This is the most I've probably spent with the three of you right now. I'm dick, I tell you where to suck it. <laughs> <laughs> she just gives you a look like, what? Did you just so tell? I think the funniest part is that you live in the town with this person. <laughs> well, she doesn't necessarily live there. She just travels through. No. This is like a village regular for you. <laughs> it's all like a stranger. That you're just like. Did you get a hero point? No. <laughs> <laughs> so shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, um, shape and roll a survival check if you want. Oh me? To be. Yeah. <laughs> oh hey, I actually have something in survival. Wow. <laughs> when did I get that? Um, 12 plus 12, so, uh, 24? You end up noticing that along with the goblin tracks <laughs> is also, yeah. um, okay. remnants of something being dragged. Something rather hey, long. I'm not, the, I'm not the one who didn't understand the Maleficent reference. Going in. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Going in that direction. <laughs> oh, come on now. You got crumbs in your beard. Fuck you. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's what? for gluten free cookies. You nasty. Ew. You're gross.
so sorry that the game's been derailed now. <laughs> uh. I said I can take it like a ma'am. <laughs> mm -hmm. Texas. <laughs> so we follow the trail. Yeah. You can follow... In fact, you... If you compare the, tra the trail's direction to the crude map that you were given by Pseudo, it heads in the general direction of the Goblin Druid's Den. Oh, how convenient. Yeah. So, do you wish <laughs> to follow the trail or check the place out more? As the cleric I, stares at the fighter. I don't have perception or anything. You know, Kirk, all, all Kirk I, didn't have perception. He just told Chekhov and Sulu, hey, do your did, shit. Did Kirk fight? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you fought a hell of a lot more than Picard did. I'm not a leader. Did, technically, you are kind of our leader. Well, let's not, not forget that the cleric I, is a magistrate. I'm not even smart. Kurt was smart. I'm not smart. What? <laughs> Let's not, card was smart. let's not forget that the cleric here is a magistrate, so... Yeah. Huh? Just giving you your chance to shine. Kirk also had really high charisma, supposedly. I don't have charisma. He was also strong. He was also... He had... Strong. <laughs> he, he had, like, 20s and everything. Cause, True. I mean, so I'm, I'm not a leader. So like, so Y'all yeah. tell me to fight. I fight. That's so, all. Okay. That's so, all so, I'm good for. So, so, so I'm more like a Picard. I don't know. I would say yes. Okay. Yeah. Warp. You're the leader. All right. Warp nine, Mister Crusher. All right. Was like, well, if you're if <clears throat> then you go in front. That that. Why am I in front? Because I'm fine, you know, Jesus Christ. Because you're the fighter. I like, should be behind you. Then, you no, know, Lucy should be in the middle, because that's a safe. That's a safe spot. You want squishy people in the middle. Where should the ranger go? Because I don't have control over the ranger. I can't. The ranger is <laughs> Shay is just going to follow you all because she's here. She's let it known that she's here for well two purposes. One, to help with the goblins, because she wants <laughs> them on a basis. See, Two, Lucy, she wants that bugbear. See, Lucy will be between me and the ranger, so she's not going to be... Plus, plus I'm, I besides, can, like, she's, walk through the walls. So. Besides, she's specced for ranged fighting, so she doesn't need to be up front. So, yes. if you Do you follow the trail all the way up? Uh, at least to the point where we get to the druid den entrance. Okay. Yeah. Allow me to do this. One of the things, that, when you get to that juncture point, <laughs> if you look to your right. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to see. Are we supposed to see that? <laughs> well, yeah, that's where you're all going, isn't okay. it? Okay. Okay. Um, are we supposed to see all of that? Yeah. Well, just when you reach that junction point, when you look, when you look to your left, because you immediately hear the sound of barking. You see the four goblin dogs, but they're in crude cages and tied to stakes in the ground. Aww, so they're just things. so they're just standing there barking, ma barking madly at you all right now. Can can I go over and like befriend them? And when you look over in this direction. Okay, let me move her up. Why can't I grab her? Oh, because I'm in That's control. what he said. Let me go ahead and switch her control. Assume direct control. I'm creating a situation where I can't grab him works. Involving soap. But I can't really create a situation where I can't grab her works. So, viewers, uh, <laughs> here's your homework. Please call in with a joke involving <clears throat> grabbing and soap. 
555. So yeah, you got that immediately sounds fake. You at least want to sell it first. Five 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 six eight two four. Any number that starts with. Five 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 is fake. I I I, 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 I am aware of this, but you want to sell it. So yeah, you got a bunch of goblin dogs barking madly on one in one direction, and in the other direction, you happen to see a matted a matted nest of red and black hair all curled up among what looks like a small mess, and I'm referring to this creature. Cute. So you see something that's a mess of red and black hair all curled up and probably asleep, even though you got the goblin dogs barking all over the place. What's that? Can can, can we go over and 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 pet it? Eh. Oh my goodness! It's not happening. Yeah, it's not happening. Yes, it does. <laughs> when, oh my God. So Will you... Will still like, can't grab them. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> game too. Grab that token. So, Grab it. when you walk closer to it, Sorry. it start. It immediately jerks from its sleep and sits up hissing at you all. You are staring down a fire pelt cougar. Wild empathy. Alright. <clears throat> Try it. <laughs> 17 was what you rolled the first time, wasn't it? Yeah, so, it was. no, so, it just keeps hissing at you. Dang it! And, it, and it's doing the thing where it arches its back. It's so cute! And I wonder how it looked if it was actually being cute. From behind a tangle of vines that also has a collection of bird skulls, rib bones, <clears throat> teeth, and other bits of decor, you hear, Who is out there? Golem? A friend? Milk, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, Tim. Where'd <laughs> my goblin go? There he is. So, out from behind the nest of vines comes the goblin druid. Who, I was about to say, you could zoom in a little bit more. Who is holding a wand in each hand, one being on flame, being on fire, and says, Long 
long shanks. More long shanks. In my den. You don't like the Thristletop Chief, do you? He just screams at you. I'm sorry, what was what was the thing called? It's a cougar. <clears throat> You're cute. <laughs> I can't even say it right. This You're... is what they look like. Oh, they're so cute! You're cute. Your your cook is really cute. <laughs> can you can't tell? say it right. Can you say it ten times fast? No. Well, it's kind of look cuter when it's gnawing your face off. You're gonna look really cute with an arrow in your face. Oh, this is. And bad. Shay just leans over. <laughs> Shay just leans over your shoulder like. How's it going? I, I could make tea. You know, In the middle of the woods. You know. Of course. We don't have to be talking like this. If we really wanted to, we would have just killed your cat and killed you right away. Why are you escalating? We don't want to do that. That's the whole reason we're opening a dialogue. I knew it was a matter of time before you all came. What do you wish to say? We want to convince Thristletop to not attack us. We heard that you were the person to talk to about that. <laughs> there is no convincing the war chief. I even tried convincing him. He won't listen to me. He just likes the freaky white-haired woman with the cut-up stomach. We don't have to convince the entire tribe. We just have to convince a handful. <clears throat> you won't convince them. They follow him blindly like they always should. Then we should show them that you have a better direction. Ha! Huh? Why do you think I'm living out here? Not by choice they threw me out! Because they're afraid of standing up to the chieftain. You're the only one who had the balls to do it. Well, of course I did. It's only foolish for us to attack Sandpoint. Pretty soon you'll have dogs and horses all coming at once. He's just kind of cowering right now. <laughs> exactly. You know what's best for your tribe. They're too stupid to realize it. We need to convince them that your idea is far better than the current chieftains, whose path will certainly lead to the extinction of the Thristletop. You'll only be laughed at if they don't stop you with that first. I'm pretty sure when we have the chieftain's head on a pike, they'll think differently. <laughs> oh, now that's the fun part. Getting to the chief. And then defeating him. Oh, he's strong. So strong. Then what can you tell us that makes him so strong? The sticky-footed one that's always by his side. Sticky-footed? Yes, yes, the big green lizard. What can you tell me about this lizard? I don't have to tell you anything. We could but help I already you. have. We could help you. <laughs> How can you help me? With, with him out of the way, you'd probably be the most, the most optimal candidate for chieftain. Mm. <clears throat> Look, there's still the freaky right-haired woman, and the bark bear, and the man with all the metal armor. Too much there. They run everything now. We'll worry about them. The far of you. Even I'm not that stupid. I am also a lizard! Sometimes it bet sometimes it helps to bet on stupid. <laughs> I do not like the idea of my word should be cured by a bunch of long shanks. What if I help you? you promise to leave the goblins alone and go after the freaky woman? The 
you will you will help us bypass the goblins and only take out the chief? Oh, not the chief. I just want the freaky woman gone. When she's gone, the chief won't have anything to do. She's the reason why he's all about let's attack the long shanks. That sounds beneficial. Mm. The fun part will be getting you past. Goblins everywhere on Thistletop. Goblins everywhere. <laughs> and the dogs are barking. They'll know you're here now. And he just gives a wide grin. So, What's what... What's your plan? Plan? You're the long shanks. Didn't you have a plan? Currently, our plan is run for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> run, he says. Have fun doing that. Oh, I'll try. He looks at the cougar. He looks back at all of you. Looks at the cougar again. You... So you promise no hurt the goblins and just go after the woman? If we can. Shay is in the background kind of laughing slightly. There's absolutely no way we'll get past the goblins without them winding up out of the fight. If they want to attack us, they will. This dru- they kick this druid out. They won't give a damn what he has to say. Would he at? Would he still have any say in their village, though? I wouldn't believe so. I think he's playing us because we have him surrounded. After all, he's like, what? no, I don't play you. I swear. Now that one's a lie. <laughs> so Shay's like, I say we take him out now, because if we take him up there with us, what's going to keep him from just yelling at the top of his lungs? To earn acceptance back into the village. Well, could it be used that to our advantage? How is him telling the goblins that we're here to our advantage? Well, how else are we going to get in without attacking all the goblins? Or are the goblins attacking us? I think that was a stink bug. Uh, <gasps> I could catch it! I think it went down on the floor somewhere or something. Oh, uh, well, yeah, keep okay. I guess this is what we're doing. So yeah, keep talking amongst yourselves. Here. I'm taking a lot of Are you sure? Yep. This is... Well, don't dump your beer in the middle container. That's gross. What? Think about me and my... Well, she has a thing for bugs. And I have a thing for my beer. Very sexy beer. <laughs> As you all keep talking... Oh, she's up. I'm going to grab the other Mountain Dew. Alright. I can wait. It's not a beard, it's a goatee. <laughs> As you all <laughs> keep talking, you hear the sa- You each hear the sounds of the thristles, the thristle tunnels behind you being rustled as something is coming up behind you all. All three of you managed to hear, but it sounds like that they're trying to be stealthy about it. And Shay immediately turns around and says, We got company! Down, 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 down. Are you going and to get captured or not? <laughs> no. When you turn around, you see some goblins have... St- have come up, coming out of the bristles behind you. And when they see that you spotted them, they're like, 
Since their stealth rolls were too low for, since their stealth rolls were too low for either of you to bypass either of you, there's going to be no surprise round. So since they are immediately charging in for the kill, we roll initiative. Okay. Yeah, move the cookies. I'm not going to bother with initiatives for the dogs unless somebody, unless any of the goblins. Bothered. It works. Wow. <laughs> oh man. Sure. Eight, wow, eighteen again. All right. So Stanton, what's yours? Eighteen. <laughs> eighteen percent. How much for Linka? Um, twenty-one. Ooh, nice. You at, you need to go in front of me because you're the one that doesn't feel like energy. And then, then you can say I'm holding action. But then 18. I have, and then I have to wait. After, what the holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> this is a magic box. How <laughs> much for Lu- how much for Lucy? The first one I rolled was five, but then I rolled with that and I got an eighteen. Okay. <laughs> I was making sure it wasn't like holding plus the dice what? Like zero. There was like oh, okay. some free potion. That's Oh my god, I, I love you. <laughs> and it's like, I love you too. <laughs> so yeah, gotta roll for it. Well. <laughs> and since since he now has reinforcements and the goblins are attacking you, the druid is of course being all Hi, I'm joining them. I'm attacking you too. So I need to Oh, look at that. Oh. What do I know about <laughs> about cougar behavior? Well, since he's an animal companion to the druid, he's going to be fiercely loyal to him, oh, just shit. as your animal is to you. Right. Shit. And let's besides, see, with you, with Shay here, I can only exclude the if, party <clears throat> members from channel negative energy. If you if you want dur- if you want during your turn you can use a minor action to roll a knowledge nature to know any weaknesses or strengths to the cougar as well. So first I need to roll for the goblins. See usually I'm always like the first person to go. So if I held action, like everybody's gonna go and usually like somebody's injured by that time, so I can't hold action. So it sucks that I always have to go first before you, because I have a high, well, I don't have a high initiative, but I've got initiative points. So yeah, our first, our first up for grabs is Linka. (laughs) See? If you really want to, you can just say, I'm delaying action until whatever, until, say, Stanton goes, or until Linka casts Entangle. I don't know if you're doing that or not. So you could set, like a... Yeah, you could set like a uh, like a trigger event, and then once that happens, well, is, is everybody gonna be listed on our on our turn order? It would it would be nice. Um, <coughs> do, 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 <coughs> um, <coughs> <coughs> uh, is list everyone. On <laughs> list everyone. Yeah, every, yeah, everyone's ready. So Link goes first. It, but uh, we're, we're, we don't see We are not everyone. saying it on the turn order. How? That is a good question. I don't know. <laughs> More technical difficulties. <laughs> Every time I bring... Okay, hang on. So 21... Is it coming from the bottle on what? your finger? I have no idea. Huh. You've got a green finger. Is that green or blue? It looks green. So Lucy oh, had the tw- So Lucy had an 18. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Real mature. Sam had a new You might have cancer if your hand's bigger than your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Where's Link where's Linka's icon at? 
It's, um, oh, there it in is. the middle. In your butthole. What? There we go. Now does everyone see it? Yes. All right. So yeah, Linka, you got goblins and you got goblins on one side and a goblin druid with a pet on the other side. And dog and goblin dogs barking madly, creating a whole lot of noise. Guess we're just gonna have to kill the whole village. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna uh go with my double sword and attack that group of goblins. You, you don't seem too very disappointed about that. No, I as a player am not very disappointed. Stanton, on the other hand, is fighting for dear life. There's a difference. Okay. I'm going to go with both my swords at that group of four goblins. Sweet! That was one... That's my long sword. Which is 16 plus 6. That's 22. Wow. Uh, I had to run out somewhere. And then my short sword was just 3 plus 5, which is 8. Your long sword is the only one that hits. Dropping one already. Ha! Dear God. Spread. <laughs> this is major channel energy. Uh, that brings it up to Lucy and Theodora. Um. Unless you. Theodora, want... I choose you. <laughs> Theodora engages the, the cougar. You know, if the fire on Theodora's light ever uh, on her tail goes out, she dies. Is it raining? It's not raining. But we're by a, we're by an ocean. <laughs> that's it's like raining. that's like ten feet away. So go. Oh, that's so like thirty feet away. So if you're away. walking around a volcano, you're like, oh, the lava is just over there. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. So ha so have the adorable. That's how they were in Lord of the Rings. They're on that rock, and they're just like lava's over there. Whoa! Nineteen. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Where'd that go? Where where is it? The table can only take so much <laughs> <I'm sorry>. abuse. <laughs> 21, 22, 23. 23. Yeah, that's going to hit. Okay. Um, and that's just the one uh four damage. Alright. And Lucy then does yeah, the longbow. Yeah, yeah, I'll just explode it. Longbow that aiming at <laughs> aiming <laughs> at the druid. Alright. Cause yeah. Thirteen. <laughs> Since it is thirteen is not going to hit him. Oh shit. Okay. Well, there you go. Alright. Oh then. Stanton. Channel negative energy. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, from where you're We'll saves all around. <laughs> That's like the only creatures it doesn't hit are the uh, like all the goblin dogs. Right. And obviously, I'm excluding Linka, Lucy, Shay, Theodora from that. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, you had to measure out that there. So that means that there's something out there. Uh oh, oh, oh. Yes, I had to. Oh. There's something out there. Oh, no. You wait, do not know! Wait, 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 wait. Where do you measure out to? You measure Over out here. here. Oh. You do not know! But you we, do not. But wait. we passed that area. Boop. Oh, right, but they the dogs barking. Yeah. You do not know. You do not know. That was just me checking because I had to. Uh huh. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. He actually remembered to hide it this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quick, giving him flack. Okay, so blue okay. for the druid, red for the companion. All right. Get those two out of the way first. Wow. And I can't see them, so. Well, uh, the druid is definitely 13. going to miss. The companion, on the other hand, got 15. 15. 15 meets it. So he only takes half. So the companion takes half. The druid takes full. <clears throat> and then I got three. Oh, oh, oh. Lulu, Lulu, you got so they have to be 
So they have to be a 14 or better still? They have to be the 15. Uh... Yeah, we're just going to say absolutely not. Okay. <coughs> 2d6. d6 there. So the animal companion is the only one that's okay. I have yeah. one right there. But these are special orange dice. Are you rolls better? The can. <laughs> that's 10. Alright, so... Five to the companion and ten to everybody else. Root. That ends up dropping the three goblins that you see. place within a six second time. True. So only so many seconds have gone away. She just went to the bathroom, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I guess you have to go. No, I, I was thinking, huh, cheap it's gone. Well, she either had to go to the bathroom or she had to get a drink. Considering that she has beverages right there, it's like the logical. So. Might as well ask them. Confirm my hypothesis. She had to pee. Yes, I hypothesized she had to urinate. And uh, it was after confirmed. I am uh, confirming. After you let out that negative energy channel. <laughs> my your dog? No. <laughs> so, Stan, after you let out that negative energy and the dust settles, you hear what sounds like a couple of footfalls running away. <laughs> So whoever else was deciding to come up after you decided to turn tail and run. Because everyone died. In <laughs> <Yeah>. six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but it is now the druid's turn. <laughs> the druid is going to cast Int Angle. Ah, oh, the little bitch. And you the you know the spell that the. Uh, not the story. That Lucy. Lucy keeps on casting that everyone gets wrapped up and they can't move. Oh. And they take massive penalties that everyone gotcha. do. And he's pretty much going to center it on all of you. So you each need to make a reflex save. How's he looking, by the way? <laughs> uh, practically barely untouched. But the, the, the channel and, and, and Theodora... And and boobs. Theodora only went. Theodora only went after the cougar, not oh. him. All right. So uh, Full attack? the evil druid is casting entangled. Aww. Oh, he's evil now. Well, yeah, because he's the evil druid, and she's the good druid. But but he's not chaotic neutral. He's, he's neutral evil. I guess I'm gonna be the only one doing a reflex save. Yeah, do oh. your reflex well, save. Well, I'm waiting for you to get done with my can. Seventeen plus four. I'm done with your can. Do you want to use my can? That's twenty-one. Oh, you mean that can? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, uh, colloquialisms. <laughs> Woot! Um, um, that's a ten. Oh, here we go. So you have to beat a 14. Huh, I beat it. So you beat it, you did it. Uh, Lucy doesn't, Theodora does. Okay, so, just as a reminder, anybody who didn't beat it... <laughs> oh, God. You can only move at half your... You can only move at half of your right. speed. Let's see. Thank you. You take a negative two penalty on all attack rolls and a negative four penalty to your dexterity score. And you have to make a concentration check to cast spells. Down there, energy is not a spell. <laughs> oh, 
rather do you concentrate? That's not a skill anymore. Uh, base con concentration is like um, ten plus that. The ten plus that. <laughs> what is that on my sheet? Not ten. <laughs> I don't see that anywhere. Oh, I'll look that up when we need to. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah. That's nice. That is a nice breeze. It's really warm in this room. Yeah. Yeah, it's really just warm everywhere. Except outside. It's chilly outside. Yeah. Whatever. It feels like I, amazing outside. I don't know how... We should have done this outside. We should have larped. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! You know... Concentration check. I larped a little bit. A concentration is a D20 plus your <laughs> cast... Plus your druid level. Hey, they have a group of... Plus that does your wisdom modifier since you're a druid. When I was when I was there, they banned LARPing, so they removed the ban. There's a there's a club now that, that is a LARPing club. I, I, was, like, I was gonna join it, but it's well, it's really nerdy. Well, <laughs> like, well, that and I mean, I would like LARP. I would LARP with y'all, y'all, but it's with, also with strangers. It's like it's also really fucking expensive. Like to. Because you have to make the swords, you have to make your own costume. Unless, well, they you know, don't, they you don't do it. They don't that. have costumes. Anyway, just, do it. Just, just Sorry. <laughs> so concentration <laughs> is a, it's a D twenty plus your druid level plus your wisdom modifier. Okay. But that's only if you want to cast a spell. So he casts entangled. He's going to back off a little. The cougar is going to swipe at your little pet dragon. Bite and two claws. The white is the bite, the other two are the claws. <laughs> so, let's see. Nine plus six is a fifth is a fifteen hit is AC. Nope. Oh. And wow. Eighteen plus six and five plus six. So eleven and twenty The twenty hits. Yeah. So a D four plus three. Because I don't have an actual D three. Seven D3 points like? of damage. It, Seven I, I, I think it there's a few different versions. Like one kind of looks like a football. Like the edge, like the edges kind of. Oh, come okay. Yeah. Well, cool, like that. Another way is to just take a D six okay. and say like one and two are one, three and four are two, five and six are three. Oh, okay. Okay. So now, now it's Shay's turn. Shay, of course, does not like the idea of being. Oh, actually, Shay still has to make a. I don't know what she's into, so maybe she likes this. I still need to make a reflex roll for Shay. I mean, actually. her and the bugbear, you know. They beat us. No! Saying. <laughs> no, we do not! I want to kill him. Wow! To she you was, never know. So she was initially entangled. She's BDSM. still entangled, know. so she has to take a negative four roll to her. Negative four to her roll. Ooh, I think he likes flowers. Like flowers. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> BDSM, and I'm like, or you could take a BM with a DS. Play, play your Nintendo DS while, you, while you're taking a crap. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Doesn't have to be sexual. <laughs> True. You know, but beer yeah. sounds like a... What's the... What's it called? Like... A guy? Because he plays his video games on the toilet? <laughs> No, like an alias. It sounds like an alias. Bugbear354. Yeah? <laughs> well, she can't 
get line of sight on anybody, so all she can do is move forward. Since she, since she didn't succeed, her. <laughs> Wait, she doesn't have line of sight of the of the of the. Dude. No. Not with all this woodness spot between her. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, huh. Huh. Whoop. Oh. Okay, <clears> that so one. Well, well, well. Live well, a little bit. Well, you got some apples. I got some. We both have apples. What is that from? That's from South Park. Yeah, Waters South Park. is playing, and he's singing. Lou, 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 you got some apples. Lou, 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 I got some too. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> so she gets a plus 13 to the roll against a goblin with her longbow. Nice. That yeah, was she's sweet. Sweet. Dark yeah, she's definitely. Yeah, she's definitely going to hit him for a D8 plus three because favored enemy also favors in the damage rolls. Screwed. So six points of damage to the goblin. <laughs> Woo! She's done. That was Jimmy. Uh, all the goblins are dead. So back to Linka. <laughs> Linka. <laughs> It's cruel to so You're starting your turn in the entangled area, so you have to make a reflex save. I already again. did that. Well, now I got 21. You have to make it again. Because it's... Cause it's still entangled. Entangled lasts until he does uh, Isn't he dead? The druid that uh, has to know. Uh, Out of range of the entangle. Yes. Which is. Eh. 
five five foot steps, uh, I assume. Uh, uh, or whatever. So five foot step that way. And that yeah. It's still in three feet. Ah. Dang it. Okay, then she doesn't move. Okay. Um and she does a full attack. Because right. she can do that. Come on. Fifteen plus four, so 17, 17, 18, 19. Got Ty goes to the offender. Uh, 13 plus 4. No. Damn it. So, just really? her... Really? Just her bite attack hit. Okay. Um, give. 5 damage. Still looks a bit healthy. Stanton. Make a reflex if you want to get out of entanglement. Or not. Maybe he likes it. Um. Have to beat a 14. Nope. Okay. Uh. What'd you get? 10. 10. You can still move at half of your speed. Uh. negative energy. Okay, white for the druid, red for the companion. Uh, the companion got a 15 on the die, the druid got a 1, so he's not going to make it. Seven. So, three for the companion, and seven for the druid. How's he looking now? Not healthy, or is in? He's still. He he's about halfway there. Wow. He's still in fight. He's still in a fighting mood, though. We'll put it that way. Even though all the other goblins have died or run off, and the goblin dogs are barking like mad now, creating a whole bunch of ruckus. But we we. All the goblins went poof. I did the same. It's it's the druid uh, turn, right? Is that he? Yeah, it's <coughs> the druid's turn. He is going to run into the bristles. Effectively disappearing. Thristles. Yeah. Since he's a druid and he has woodland stride. Yeah, okay. So he runs in and that's all that you see of him. He's probably doing other stuff. Yeah. You want me to entangle the area? There's no guarantee that you actually, you know, hit... True. You want me? <laughs> you want me to create a flaming ball? Shay, run it around. Catch, <laughs> catch the forest on fire. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like to do that. It's very, it's very damp in here, so you can't really catch anything on fire. You'll just create a smoke <laughs> signal. <laughs> Shay wants to get out of entanglement. And she makes it with an 18. So Shay is going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. She's going to get well out of range of entanglement, and since the druid is gone, she's going to pelt the cougar with an arrow. <laughs> pelt? She's a punch. It's a thing. Yeah, she's yeah, going to hit it. <laughs> three points of damage. The cougar is starting to... The cougar is starting to yell out in pain. And since he's, he's getting all cornered and arced up and hissing right now, <laughs> since
since he has no viable way of getting out. Linka. I guess I'll finish what she started. And Do you want to get out of entanglement first? How many times? I gave you a thing to get out of entanglement. Oh, but you're sorting your round within the entanglement area. So they're always grabbing at you. You not drag me out of the entanglement area. You never said you wanted to move. <clears throat> Our fighter, ladies and gentlemen, is having piss poor luck with her. I think you need to use another set of dice. Give her another D20, goddammit. Alright, 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 alright. All right, all right, I do right. have a spare copper one. Here, you use. Uh, or, uh, or use the 50 pound. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that works. Awesome! Better. You're not entangled. So you can move, move me out of the entangled area. So you have a movement of six squares. Uh, where's the entanglement area? It's start. It's centered where Lucy's at right now. So that's thirty-five feet right there. Uh, I want to use a double movement to get there because I don't think that's just six squares. Or it is. Yeah. Sure. She can get there. Alright. There's another one. Yes! Or that might be... No, nope, that's another one. Hi there. You're going to be my friend. <laughs> don't bring it No, here. don't bring it in here. Why? Yeah. I don't like them. <laughs> they're, they're weird. Pity. No, they're weird. And they emit a foul odor when you piss them off. Or kill them. Yeah. So I flush them down the toilet. Generally, killing them pisses them off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So go ahead and fire God your. Damn it. <laughs> so go ahead and fire your arrow at the cougar. And by that, he does not get the older woman. Uh, uh, you hit zero hit points, even creatures. It's just, it's usually played out that when you're attacking something like a goblin or an orc, when you put it down to zero hit points, you instantly want to kill it anyway. If you want, we can technically do use the rule on him where, let's see, what's your strength modifier that was added to that damage? My attack modifier? Yeah, because you use a composite. Six. You use if a composite. Your attack or strength modifier. I don't know what my strength modifier is. Okay, well, look at your damage. Because you're using a composite. Oh, one, it was plus two. So you did ten points of damage to him. He was at six. So he's at negative four right now. Yeah. Lucy rushes over and uses stabilize. Well, you have to wait till your turn because we're still in combat. Okay, ah. my turn's next. Mm. 
save lives would probably be the better of those two spells to use. So. Stabilizes cantrip at will. Oh. But yes, Lucy, it is your turn. You have to roll to not be entangled. Come on, Lucy! Yeah, no. You can move um, only half of your speed. Okay, so that is... Where can is you cast speed? touch spells through your familiar? Yeah, can I do or that? Or not fam animal companion? Druids, no, that's only wizards with familiars. Uh, okay, that's, that's so that's 30, 30 feet normal, so that's 15 feet. You won't, you won't be able to make it there. Will she, <laughs> will she at least be able to make it there in time before Sin the creature bleeds out? Yeah, since okay. you're, since you're just cast, stabilize just instantly stops you from bleeding out, right? Right. I'll go ahead and allow that you get there and cast stabilize. Okay. And that's all. What does Theodora do, though? Well, considering there's seemingly no one else on the field. There's seemingly no one else on the field, so she's just hanging out. Like, okay. Stanton, do you want to attempt anything since the druid is still hidden somewhere? I don't want to head into the thristles. Because if we did he would be able to fuck us six ways to Sunday. That, and since they're so thick and off the goblin-made trail, you start taking bits of damage that are pretty nasty and you don't want me to explain. So I'm assuming that uh, Linka, Shay, and myself sort of form a perimeter to try and <clears throat> yeah. keep a watch for baddies coming out of the woods, so I'm going to move myself there, Linka up there, and Shay, uh, Shay right there. Linka, go ahead and make an attack of opportunity, because coming out of the bristles right in front of you, the goblin is going to make a beeline for that way. Okay. Good. B. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to switch back to my long and short sword. Well, actually, let me let me go ahead and explain. You can either make an attack of opportunity with your sword, or you can use an attack of opportunity in this case to trip him or grab him. I'll which grab would him. which would be your um, CMB? Oh. I do it with my sword, my long sword. Okay. I don't know what that is. It's a one. <laughs> Can I spend hero points in her place? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I think she's looking for the dice. Do you trust the can? him roll your damage. Alright, are you grabbing him? Or are you... I, she I said she wants... My sword. Okay. All right. Pay attention. Said... Yeah, she's just swinging at him. Seven. Seven, Seven plus... plus three, it's ten. Okay, so you hit him... Re... So you get him really good as he continues running off towards the rope bridge. Do you let anybody know that he appeared? Yeah. Um. I tell Stanton and I tell Shay. Alright, so how far does he make it? Uh, let's see. Run. Let's see. Running is like four times your but, movement. But, but he, he, uh, he got attacked. It. He got, he got thwacked. Running is still four times your movement. What? Uh, boy. So what? I sliced him. He so should what's... be like at least like. Uh... So, so what's thirty times four? One hundred twenty. He's 
pretty much going to make it all the way to his compound, right? What the fuck? <laughs> That's why I gave you the opportunity to use a grapple or a trip. Like you said, you wanted to swing it over your sword, and I was like, okay. So, yeah, he just runs across the rope branch. Long shanks are here! Long shanks are here! Like, I, I hit him. He should be, like, missing an arm or something. Like, oh, Jesus! Uh! <laughs> I've never met anyone who's been able to run a marathon while they're bleeding out. Exactly! <laughs> That's one of the instances where there is... And he's ha he has to run right past them, like... Right past who? Them. No, he was in the bristles where they couldn't reach him. Let me go ahead and explain that. If you tried pressing through those thristles, you would have to make fortitude checks or risk taking a strength damage. A permanent strength damage. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Except for you, because you're a druid. You have woodland stride. So, yes. I'm just playing to the rules as I know them. You took a whack at him when he had 26 hit points. You dealt t over 10 to him. He just kept right on running. That's like half. That's almost half. Alright, alright. So he's, he's going off and he's being a dick. Yeah. So now you're pretty sure that aside from all the noises that the goblin dogs are making, the peop the goblins in Thristletop are going to know you're there now. The element of surprise has been lost. The Shea, element of being a badass is just starting. <laughs> Shay is, of course, shaking her head slightly like, I figure this is going to be easy, but I guess you're going to have to play rough now. <laughs> Not dealing with a bunch of hunters looking to kill three hours in the woods in the morning. You're dealing with soldiers. I'm not a soldier! Oh, she you is. two are! Okay, yeah! Do not group me in with this! Soldiers need medics. Okay! Medic! <laughs> She comes up behind you and pats you on the shoulder like, You've been doing fine so far. Okay. And after all, you helped save the town from the original goblin raid, so clearly you're doing something right. Okay. I hope. Way to really put the edge on that inspirational speech. <laughs> I try. Well, I'm, I'm going to do what I do. I'm healing this cougar. Why would you heal the animal companion? Why wouldn't you? The goblin obviously had no loyalty for him. It's still going to be loyal to its druid. It's going to spring an attack, or at least try to run away. And then he'll be reinforced again. Best to put it out of its misery. I mean, he's been bitten and knocked by an arrow. He's still a wild animal. You, you can't just I would kill know. it. Wild? Not really. He's a companion. He's domesticated. It's He's bonded to the druid as yours is. And that's not his fault? You as a... You're confusing. <laughs> How am I confusing? She looks over and sits and like, she knows about her and her little dragon friend, right? <laughs> <laughs> Stan's gonna play along. What dragon friend? <laughs> 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 well, you are all weird. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. <laughs> so it is only just. 
traveling with a druid that doesn't understand the nature of her own animal. I I'm a cleric. <laughs> she takes a drink. <laughs> and I'm traveling with a cleric. Well, you seem to be the normal one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then, Was it the mask that convinced you? <laughs> well, yeah, ex aside from the mask. And then I'm with a trip. I would hope is a train. No offense. I would hope you're a train fighter. Oh, she opened up the can of worms now. <laughs> uh oh. I mean, do, do you need some training with your sword play? In your, I can teach you I'm, how to I'm shoot an arrow. I'm preparing the heel spell now. <laughs> I can so teach he, you to shoot so an arrow off a very piece of well. And hands it to you. <laughs> do you want to die? Do you want to try me? Is this really a good time for this? No, it's not. The goblin... Then don't insult my fighting. My apologies. The entire encampment is now alerted to us. The go the druid, being powerful enough on his own, is now reinforced. And it is just the four of us. Granted, they're goblins. But even I know that when goblins are masked, they can be quite tricky. I'd say we should try to clear out the goblin count, uh, goblin encampment before moving on. We don't want to get inside the stronghold and then have to fight a two-front battle. Yes, that would be very smart. Let's let's check out this guy's encampment first. See if he had anything of value or of use. Mm. We'll say that he left behind he left behind a wand and one bottle of potion of cure lightnings. Nice. Uh do we know what it's a wand of? Uh, the druid can attempt the spell trap. Lucy can can attempt a spellcraft check and if she fails, I think even Rangers get spellcraft since they cast spells. Good, because I don't have spells. <clears throat> I don't have any ranks in it. You can still roll for it if you want. <laughs> Six. Mm. Shay looks it over and. Well, the good news is it's a wand of tree shape. You can take the shape of a tree. Cool. I've always wanted to be a tree. The bad news is it only like has... in the Wizard of Oz. I was doing my little pony reference. Uh, <laughs> with, with Fluttershy. When she's like, oh, I've always wanted to be a tree. <laughs> Not on the train. The bad news is it only has four charges left to it. So we can use this offensively, right? It's a self-casting spell. We could all cast it and hide, except for Theodora, but... You would be completely incapable of moving while you're a tree, and you would be susceptible to the kind of damages a tree could. And goblins love fire very much. But it's really hard to get anything on fire here. Do you really want to take that chance? In Maybe. short, I don't think it's going to help anyone to become a tree. These bristles here have the benefit of having been here amongst the shoreline for God no, for goddesses know how long. You becoming a tree right here and now, you're going to be pretty much a dry, healthy tree. With very flammable bark and leaves. Can we pick what type of tree we want to be? <laughs> Are we really having this conversation? <laughs> I was just thinking that. Like, <laughs> she looks at the fire and says, How do you put up with them? <laughs> I'm coming.
coloring right now. So <laughs> <laughs> you actually have out a coloring book. <laughs> oh my god. These are the people that saved the town. <laughs> up to the beginning of the rope bridge. I thought we were going to clear out the encampment first. Well, the encampment is up there. Let's say that we had to cross the bridge oh. to get to the encampment. Well, I thought, because you see this giant morass of forest, more forested area off to the side. Let me, let me... <coughs> yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and pan what? out so you want to go ahead and put yourselves up to the rope bridge? Is that is that a is that a clue from the DM that hey? There's nothing else of interest yeah. here. No, I'll go ahead and say that the only survivors of his channel negative energy were two other random goblins who decided to put tail between their legs and run away. By the way, how many extra goblins did I kill? I, I, because I'm a uh, bloodthirsty little bastard. Wink had killed the one. Three, four, five. Six. You ended up killing seven altogether. <laughs> the other two were outside of your area yes. and ran off. <laughs> well, the channel negative energy is a stupid ability. That's why I'm saying you should go before me, but you don't make that good of rolls. But I can't say that right now because I made like five bad rolls tonight. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna group everyone, move them up there, and then All right. okay. them. Okay. Uh, a rope bridge spans the gulf between the cliff and the roundish flat-topped island, sixty some feet to the north. L- Lucy, make sure that the cougar is comfortable and like not gonna die. Oh yeah. Do you waste a healing spell to wake it up? I don't waste a healing spell. I have heal as a skill. So do you want to go well, first? He, you go already bridge. stabilized it, so you don't need to roll heal. Sure. Okay. Heal's just another way to keep someone from bleeding out. Or okay. to, like, recognize injuries and whatnot. That's, okay. That's, so you, you'll leave it there unconscious and fine. Okay. But I wrap a blanket around him. Okay. So anyway. Thick patches of nettle and briar grow here and there atop the island, but its impressive feature is a wooden one-story stockade. Two 30-foot-tall watchtowers guard the stockade's southern facet. The rope bridge itself is made of hairy rope and thick wooden planks. The whole thing creaks and sways in the wind above the churning surf 80 feet below. What? Now, remember what Pseudo told you. Cross the bridge one at a time, or else it will collapse. All right, it's so rigged. <clears throat> how about this? Theodora heads there. She can fly, bypass the bridge completely. Hold on. What if they start crossing this way? Well, yeah, because when you all come up to the bridge, you do see across on the other side your druid friend being surrounded by... Oh, four goblin dogs and four goblins, and he's pointing and yelling, but you can barely hear him over the surf. But it's more mostly along the lines of "there they are, kill, kill, kill." Can we taunt them into crossing? Sure, you can try. Okay. Goblins suck! <laughs> They're just jumping up and down screaming loudly. <laughs> Please don't tell anyone at the village I'm about to do this. Okay. So he lifts up the uh, skirt of his <laughs> uh, of his chainmail, zips down his pants. <laughs> to this. 
Face palm. Oh. Face <laughs> So, yeah. So you're a grower. <laughs> <laughs> points just okay. for that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the goblins upon seeing that all sort of single firely run across the bridge. Now, the bridge is rigged to fall if more than one medium sized creature falls on it. Small sized creatures are considered a third. So right now three goblins are running across at a time. Theodore jumps on the bridge and jumps up and down. <laughs> Alright, so the bridge collapses with three of them <clears throat> screaming madly as they fall into the surf below. And meanwhile, the druid, who looked like he was trying to warn them not to, is just going... Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is a god... Even with an intelligence of eight, that was pretty stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now you well, got... I, so I turned to Shay. See, I told you, sometimes it's good to bet on stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it's good to just do this. And without even looking, she fires an arrow and kills the fourth one. Just because. Nice! It was that simple! <laughs> But that this, was also simple, and we killed three of them. <laughs> this required a lot less skill. <laughs> and you don't even have a penis. <laughs> D- don't. <laughs> Neither do... <laughs> See, it's a special talent that only I possess. <laughs> If it wasn't if it wasn't for having the opportunity to kill the bugbear that's been plaguing my people for all these years, I would just turn and walk away now. I just killed three goblins with my penis. My more do you want? <laughs> Typical woman. <laughs> I honestly believe we can call it right there. <laughs> Since it's three minutes to ten. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> Questions, comments, or anything about the game? That was awesome. <laughs> How are we going to get good. out of the island now? <laughs> yeah, the bri- Yeah, the rope bridge is gone now. Well, <laughs> I mean, it, well, not completely gone. It did that. It did this number. Mm. So one rope is still hanging. Well, so we can cross like the goblins are smart enough to only rig one side of the bridge to collapse and not both, leave, which would have left them <laughs> stranded. So we can still get it across. It just take longer. And you do have a druid to contend with, and druids have ranged spells as you would. Oh, but as Shay showed, it's so easy to deal with them. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Yeah, she used to just kill the dogs. Yeah. So, anyway. Oh, um. Did you all. Did you all want to do anything about the four kenneled goblin dogs, or did you leave them alone? Well, we're gonna take care of them and, and, and bring them back. Okay. <laughs> so, sorry everybody that the game got a little derailed there during the beginning. <laughs> it's okay. And well, in the middle, I think, and I at the we, end. I think we made up for it. <laughs> what with all the interruptions and uncontrollable laughter and whatnot. Yeah. Everybody say goodbye as we stop the recording. Night. Bye. Bye.